Well, in terms of water, water falls from the sky. People seem to forget that. They want to put an umbrella up and a roof up and run it down the storm drains and get rid of it and protect themselves from it. Yet we are 86% water. We're nothing but a sack of water with, you know, a, a, a voice. And so uh, earth ships capture the water from the sky, harvest it, and then use it four times. They take the water and store it in a cistern, and then you take a shower with it. And then that shower water runs into what we call botanical cells that are rubber lined, and they grow plants uh, that grow food from that water. And then they don't use all that water, so at the end of the line of the rubber lined botanical cell, we, ca we recapture the water and pick it up and flush the toilet with the water that we took a shower in yesterday. And then the toilet goes out to an anaerobic processor that then turns out effluent water that we do landscaping with when you would have used fresh water for that. So in a normal household, you use precious fresh water to take a shower. And then you use more precious fresh water to grow plants. And then you use more precious fresh water to flush your toilet. And then you use more precious fresh water to do your landscaping. We use the same five gallons of water for all four of those uses. And that makes water go much further. Water is reusable. We don't have to throw it away. And that makes the whole thing work in 85% of the climates on the planet. You do not need a well. You do not need a, a municipal water system full of chlorine and fluoride. You know, in New York City right now, 